Hello friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile 3 Ruined World. I have gone back and gotten the Ritual of Sanctification, and that ring from the Ogre Grave. And I've done some more exploring off recording. I have just a little bit left over here that I might as well show off. Because we can get fun things like, beware, ogres in hills. Yeah, don't say. Ah, another group of not-so-friendly ogres. Oh, that one went well. No secret passages down that valley. Another bunch of ogres with a big worm thing here. And nothing else special down this valley either. Okay. But that's a tiny bit of empty map cleaned up. And something here. Interesting. Someone has abandoned a sack here. You look inside and see several roots. They're weird-shaped, unpleasant-smelling things. Sounds like it could be Mandrake. And indeed it is. I'm having Connie hold on to all my alchemical stuff right now, because why not? And back down to more settled territory we go. More settled territory, and... More profitable enemies. One of those guys dropped steel gauntlets. Very nice. Also, the revive spell is useful for when someone gets very poisoned. Now then... I believe the Troglo Temple is somewhere east-ish. Slight issue of being outside the demo area is I don't remember all of this quite as well. It's not etched into my brain like the earlier Exile material is. Looks like there's something I haven't done in here. There is a walled settlement up here in the hills, filled with humans, not troglodytes. Guards with plate mail and halberds guard the gates. It could be awful dangerous if they don't like you. Approach? When you approach, one of the guards goes inside. Beyond the gates, you see several beautiful, well-maintained villas. Soon, a merchant, wearing rich velvet robes, emerges to speak with you. Welcome to our settlement! Unfortunately, this was the only place we could find in Valorum safe from the monsters everywhere. Wish I could invite you in, but we prefer to keep things as secure as possible. However, we're running a little short on supplies, and are loath to risk our guards by sending them out. We'll pay 400 gold for each full load of food you bring us. Accept? Sounds pretty good. How much do you consider to be a full load of food? A band of guards emerges from one of the villas and relieves you of your food. One of the merchants gives you a sack of copper and silver coins. After a quick count to verify you haven't been cheated, you move on. Okay, so that's... I believe trading 100 food for 400 gold. That's honestly not a bad deal right now. Let's see, what else have I not explored yet? Okay, that's an anima-only place. I think I visited there last episode. Valley of the Giants. This sounds like some place I may need to come back to later. 
Or maybe this is just a completely empty spot of it. Wait a sec, I think I remember this. Ah, yes. A large troglodyte outpost. I'm somewhat better trained and equipped than I was last time I came here, and I did just save. Let's give it a try. Bless and haste. And how much does Peridot have to do at the moment? Peridot can scry the Troglodyte Lord. Okay, significantly less powerful than I am. But he's got a lot of backup. Congrats, you killed your own guys. Ooh, actually, I should be going for the spellcasters if I can. Curse you! Let's see how many I can hit with a uh, area of effect spell. Now then, Garnet can do some fun things. Because I have both an Ogre Mage and a Nullbug in my summon list now. And let's slow everyone for good measure. And Peridot, let's have you throw out some fireballs. Ah, nice, I got the Kazi out early. That'll save me some pain. Should I do any healing? I sort of feel like I should do some healing. <laughs> Hooray! Ogre Mage killed something for me! And also summoned a demon, which is about to be super useless. Oh, nope, nope. There's still a couple of spellcasters up here. Really, you've got to keep with the summoning the demons. I think the null bug might have been a little more effective. Oh, maybe you can help me mop up the rest of the summons. I even got to use Firestorm in that one, despite the large mass of enemies. Okay, there's some nice goodies here.
You sack their camp. You find plenty of coins and bits of metal you can spend later. A bunch of broken and rusty weapons, some armor that's far too small for you, and a fairly nice new suit of human-sized chainmail. Ooh. I like free chainmail. It's a troglodyte ambush! The hunchbacked monsters emerge from concealed holes in the ground. Ooh, another tough fight. Let's go with the standard blessing. And a standard tasting. And now a standard beat everyone up. use more flame strikes, but that's kind of a lot of spell points. Very nice. And now... No bug, I choose you! Bug, stop focusing on the non caster. Okay, Garnet needs a revive. And that is why I like the null bug when it's on my side. else to pick up the rest of the goodies. And I need someone else to pick up the rest of the rest of the goodies. Stephen, do I need to start upping your strength? Ha! Ah, secret passage. Monsters nearby. Crud. Can I scare you off? No. Fortunately, there is no spellcasters, so this can be a purely physical fight. Not that a judicious use of Firestorm and Fireball didn't make it a whole heck of a lot quicker. Uh, why are there so many wandering things? Blurg. I'm going to save, and then I'm going to try resting in this nice little spot again. Much better. Okay, lots of rubble around here. Ha! Huh. Farther up the mountain to the north, you can see the twisted stone spires of Castle Troglo, the massive, deadly lair of the troglodyte army. In between you and it is a troglodyte guard post. Dozens of the creatures, heavily armed, crouch behind a stone barrier. They're watching you for now, waiting to see what you'll do. Approach. The troglodytes have a quick, spirited, monosyllabic discussion. They seem to be arguing about whether or not to attack you. They decide, unsurprisingly, to take the more violent option.
Mm-hmm. Oh, this is quickly becoming standard. Holy heck, that's a lot of you. That was intense. I couldn't actually remember if that was going to be a... a huge fight like that, or a... or a scripted you-shall-not-pass type of event. Let's maybe cure that disease. Can I actually do anything with Castle Troglo at this juncture? Hi. Big place, isn't it? Also, these guys are friendly? Huh. Even though I just utterly slaughtered their guard. You bravely walk up to the massive gates of Castle Troglo. When you reach them, you hear a harsh voice say, Are you the diplomats? Do you have the papers? You can't see where the voice is coming from. There is silence. Clearly, someone is waiting for a response. You certainly don't have the papers. Try to fake it? No. When you say you don't have the papers, the response is magical fire, which flies across the portcullises. You leap back, just barely avoiding being crisped. The troglodytes clearly don't plan to let you in. And if we do try to fake it... Show us the papers, then! The voice barks. You hold up a piece of paper with writing on it, hoping whoever it is can't read. No dice. Flames fly across the portcullis, you leap back just quickly enough to save your lives. Mm hmm. Did notice an odd little bit. Ah, uh, no, I can't do anything with that. Welp. I guess we'll have to go and earn the papers from Mayor Knight somehow. Ooh, I don't know what this is. A recent rock slide has left a large pile of fresh scree here. One of the bits of stone catches the light oddly. Okay, I've got a gem of some sort. And that is why I keep banging my face into various walls. And I have found a river. a sign out in the middle of nowhere. Troglo territory northeast, yeah, we figured that out. A fairly new paved stone footpath leads up the valley. It is lined with obelisks with strange writing on them. These are placed at regular, hundred-foot intervals. There are lots of them. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to get into this area, perhaps, but I cannot. And here it is, the Troglo Temple. Which I believe Captain Cory wants us to disable so that they can stop blessing all their Troglo warriors. Now, should we have the lights on or off for this? You are at the west end of a massive hall. Lining its sides are statues of troglodytes, but not regular stunted troglos. They're tall and distinguished, and each has the name of a great troglo hero at the base. 
you notice that there are paths sloping upward at the far east end of the cave. You also notice that there aren't any troglodytes in sight. It's quiet. Too quiet. Temple of the Troglodytes. Those here for blessing. Use ritual blessing pools first. Thought I saw a troglo, but it was just the fire animation. Hi. You are not friendly. Neither are the statues, apparently. Maybe I need to get Peridot some fourth level spells so that she can work on slowing everybody right after I haste. Oh, that is so many of you. Possibly I should try retreating to a better spot. That could take a little while, though. Wait, blah. Okay, which of these statues are statues, and which of them are trying to kill me? Okay, these two at the end are living statues. I think the rest of them are just statues. Spellcasters that way. More spellcasters this way. Hey, boy. I think I do mostly just want to retreat. After I put, an put out an ogre mage to mess with the enemy. Oh, very many summons. Oh, um, the ogres are on my side now. Right. It may be best to retreat just so that I don't wind up in a huge mess trying to figure out who I can and cannot hit.
Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and deal with that Kazi, and I'm just going to let all the summons fight amongst themselves. Unless, of course, they are directly in my way. What hit me? Flame arrows, are you worth it at this level? Still no. One of the summons just took out one of the statues for me. I see someone summoned a guardian, and that was the invisible thing that hit me. So many summons. to prioritize the spellcasters, but... Um, right, I can't tell which of the trash mobs is enemy and which of the trash mobs is actually on my side. Okay, who in their right mind ever thought that making a summon who can create other summons is a good idea? Okay, now, um... Are any of you trying to kill me? The ogre is friendly, the li fire lizard is friendly. Connie does not have cure disease, and I should possibly fix that at some point.
Maybe I can just end combat mode for a moment. I I think everyone that's left might actually be on my side. What a concept that is. Okay. Are there any unfriendlies left? Not in here. Okay. Let's pick up some loot then. And continue exploring the temple in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.